Behind me is the uh, Noon Lagoon Crawler. It's a self-propelled amphibious agitation boat for these uh, uh, waste lagoons on you know, mainly dairies and hog sites. Um, traditionally, you'd have like a 48-foot long lagoon pump that you'd back into these pits uh, and you'd run these and to, to agitate to get the sand and manure off the bottom and uh, into suspension. Now with our agitation boat, it eliminates all that equipment and you can go in, uh, it floats around on top and it'll actually agitate the whole lagoon. So it's, uh, it's been a really effective process. You'd actually use this every time you pump out your lagoon, which could be you know, uh, twice a year. Uh, a lot of these big dairies, they bed with a lot of sand and all that sand's going in the lagoons. Um, it, what you can do with these boats is you can go into the lagoon and get that sand into suspension and uh, while you're pumping out, so you know, if it takes you a couple days to pump out the lagoon, basically you'd have this running the, the whole time to get that sand in suspension. The great thing about this is before people would pump all the water off the lagoons and actually go in and scoop out the lagoons, with these we can get the sand in suspension so you don't have to scoop them out, which is really uh, a, a big labor intensive job. The crawler here, it's, uh, it weighs a little bit over 18,000 pounds. Um, and we're about 24 feet long and 11 and a half feet wide. With our lagoon crawler, uh, there's really just one size. It's a 6.7 liter uh, Cummins diesel. Uh, we do offer a 6.8 liter John Deere for a lot of the, the guys who are diehard green fans. Um, as far as the pump size goes, uh, everything's the same that way. There's uh, uh, different remote control options that are available. Uh, we're starting to come out with the GPS option, so a lot of these big lagoons uh, you can actually map out the lagoon and the crawler will automatically do uh, a, a pass so you're eliminating uh, basically a man who's sitting there controlling the crawler so that's been a popular uh, well received option there. So this is their standard remote for the crawler. It looks like a lot of buttons but uh, once you're in the manure lagoon it's really just these four buttons here uh, to actually maneuver around. Uh, all the other ones are uh, different features uh, for controlling the engine and the driving around on land. So uh, that's the main controller. We have a belly pack with joysticks available um, uh, as well as that GPS option. So uh, right here beside me, uh, this is one of our new white iron pumps. This is really at the heart of the crawler. Uh, it's made out of uh, hard metals such as nickel and chrome and it's very hard and it's standing up very, very well in the sand abrasives. What's nice about these uh, crawlers is it does such a good job of mixing uh, the sand up with the manure. Uh, settling out in tanks further down the road isn't a problem. Uh, if you're doing a lagoon where a lot of the, the organic, the manure is uh, separated out and it's just sand and water, then you might have some issues with uh, sand settling it out further uh, like in the tanks, but we find it's actually doing a really good job if there's manure in with the sand that the sand gets suspended in the manure and it doesn't actually settle out.